the detail of the present perfect tenses. Present perfect tenses, we use them to talk about an action that was completed at unspecified or indefinite time in the past. They are made by adding helping verb has, have before past participle form of verb. The formation of these sentences are like subject, then helping verb has, have, then the past participle form of verb and then the object. For example, I have seen this movie earlier. She has done her work. For singular subjects, we use helping verb have and for plural, we use, for singular, we use has and for plural subjects, we use have. But with I, we always use have. Now we will talk about the detail of the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense is used to talk about an action that took place in the past before a specific point of time or another action. They are made by adding helping verb had before past participle form of verb. The formation of these sentences is same as the present perfect tenses. Only the helping verb is changed into had. For example, I had seen this movie before it was released. Now we will move on to the next topic which is the future perfect tense. We use the future perfect tense to talk about an action that will occur in the future before a certain point of time or another action in the future. They are made by adding helping verb will have before past participle form of verb. They, the formation of these sentences is same as the present perfect tenses and past perfect tenses. Only the helping verb is changed into will have. For example, I will have seen this movie by the time it is released. The perfect tenses can also be converted into the negative form or negative sentences. For past and present perfect tenses, the subject verb to have not past participle form of verb and then object or the rest of the sentence for example i have not seen this movie earlier i had not seen this movie this sentence is per present perfect negative sentence this is the past perfect negative sentence for future perfect tense Subject plus will plus not, then verb to have, then past participle form of verb and then the object or the rest of the sentence. For example, they will not have crossed the river before the storm arrived. The perfect tenses can also be converted into the question sentences. How? For present and past tenses, for present and past tense, the formation of the sentence is verb to have, then subject, then the past, past participle form of verb, then the rest of the question. And then in the last, we put the question mark. For example, have I seen this movie earlier? For the, pres for the future perfect tenses, will plus subject plus verb to have, then past participle form of verb, the rest of the question and then in the end the question mark. Will they have crossed the road before the storm? Now I will repeat the formation of the sentences for the present perfect tense, for past perfect tense as well as for future perfect tense. For present perfect tense, a subject plus has have as an helping verb then past participle form of verb and then the object or the rest of the sentence. For past perfect tense, the subject plus had plus past participle form of verb, then the object. And for the future perfect tense, the subject plus will have as an helping verb, then the past participle form of verb and then the object. 
In this session, we have talked about uh, the perfect tenses, the present perfect tense, the past perfect tense, the future perfect tense. Also, how can we make the negative and question sentences of these tenses? That's it for this session. <laughs>